Hi, today we have an iPhone X uh, with the problem that the Wi-Fi is not working. Uh, in other words, uh, the Wi-Fi button is grayed out. I'm going to show you. Okay, uh, here's the Wi-Fi, as you can see. The button is grayed and I cannot turn it on. And we, when we go to the Bluetooth uh, section, as you can see there is a circle that goes round and round and not turn on and when we are uh, when we go to the settings uh, about this phone as you can see the Wi-Fi MAC address is not existed and but the Bluetooth is here but we don't have a Wi-Fi uh, as you know uh, the Wi-Fi model uh, the, the Wi-Fi modular or uh, and the Bluetooth modular is the same chip in the phones uh, so uh, what we are going to do uh, we are going to try reball the Wi-Fi chip first and see if that will help if it's uh, gonna help uh, I suppose that will be the fix because I don't think that there is a problem with the Wi-Fi chip itself uh, I, <clears throat> I didn't have this problem in the iPhone 10s at all so I don't think that there's uh, this is a Wi-Fi chip problem it's more of a, a reballing issue or uh, great pads uh, in the chip so let's get straight into this, into this repair
Okay, now that the reball, uh, the Wi-Fi chip reballing process didn't help us to regain the Wi-Fi function on the phone, we are gonna check some of uh, the pins and see if there is maybe uh, some kind of a break in line or maybe some pin is not connected. Okay, let's start with this this one and see if there is Okay, we don't have a measurement on this pin, so I assume it could be broken or there is no connection between it and the Wi-Fi chip. Uh, so I'm going to check right here. I think this is it. Yes, we have measurements, so I can assume that there is no connection between here and here. Okay, let's see if there is any other pins are not connected. Uh, it's the PPVDD main. I don't think that is the problem because we couldn't have anything else working. Okay, let's see this one. It's right here. Okay, we have a measurement. Let's see the next one. Yeah, I don't think that it could be here, but I can check. Okay, we have measurement. Next one. There it is, we have measurement. Also have it. Yeah, I don't think that this side could be could have any problems, but can check for it. There is, there is, there is. Well, okay. So let's go to the next line. Let's see if this one goes anywhere. No, let's go. It goes to the modem, the baseband, and next. Doesn't go anywhere as far as I can see. Okay, the next one also doesn't go anywhere. There is no pin for it. Okay, let's see here, maybe. We have a measurement, it's close to the number on the schematics, see right here, also have it, next one. also have it okay see this one okay there is no measurement and it should be 0.775 we don't have any measurement so we have those three pins down below these ones that we don't have any measurement on them We have one of them, but the other two we don't, which is kind of weird. Let's see if we have connection. Yeah, we have connection, but these two are not connected. Okay, they come and go, so I can assume that I there is some kind of problem here or some kind of broken trace under uh, in the motherboard 
So uh, I'm gonna check the this area because here is the most vulnerable vulnerable area. As I can see that there is some pins that are not connected. When I press on it, it goes. When I, I'll leave. I don't press on this area. We have a measurement, so we can assume that there is a broken trace in the motherboard itself. Uh, this pin is, uh, is, has nothing. The next one that we measured that goes to the Wi-Fi chip also have nothing, and this one there is a measurement. This one also, and. Yeah, it's good. This one too. This one too. Yeah, all of them has measurements. So I'm gonna check this line here of pins. This one. Yeah, there is. It's good. Next one. Okay, so this the spin is also not connected. Okay, so now after we measured those pads uh, that are not connected well to the pins underneath the Wi-Fi chip, uh, I can assume that there is uh, more pads that are not connected in this area. Uh, some of them goes to the connect, uh, touch screen connector and some of them goes to the speaker amplifier, the Wi-Fi chip, and other and other. So uh, I'm not gonna try here and uh, find a shortcut by doing jumper wires, renewing those pads and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace uh, the whole motherboard, the lower, the lower motherboard, or as we call it, a board swap. Uh, that will uh, help me a lot because uh, I don't like when the customers come came, come to me back and tell me that there is a, a other problem in the board uh, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just swap the lower board and uh, everything will be back to normal. Everything will work. And uh, for the future, for the, uh, for the customer, uh, he will not come back and tell you that there is other problems with the board and stuff like that so yeah don't try to uh, find a shortcut for your work if you have uh, the ability to replace the whole board or the to swap the board it will be better and more efficient way uh, to uh, fix the problem and uh, make your life easier so yeah let's do that
So now, after we soldered the board back to its place, let's check once again the Wi-Fi. Okay, so it's seeing all the Wi-Fi's here and the Bluetooth is working. So everything is working. As you can see, the phone is fully working. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you have any other questions about this repair or regarding other repairs, uh, leave it in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them. And thanks for watching. See you next time.